Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Pacer channel. My name is Ben and today we are going to teach you everything that you need to know about TBW. TBW can be thought of as total bytes written or terabytes written interchangeably because in the future we will have petabytes. Now, TBW can also be thought of as the expected lifespan of your SSD. This expected lifespan is usually determined by many predetermined factors, such as how much data is expected to be written to that SSD within a given time frame. So how do we determine TBW? Simple. First, we take the total capacity of the SSD in question, then we multiply it by the NAND cycles. Then we divide it by the right amplification factor. The right amplification factor is directly correlated with how much data is written to and erased from an SSD. You see, every SSD contains blocks, and these blocks are good to be written to and erased from a certain amount of data as well as a certain amount of times. And see, these blocks will eventually go bad after a while. These blocks are known as later bad blocks, and these are well accounted for in advance by all SSD manufacturers. Let's take an industrial grade SSD from a pacer. The total capacity is 2048 gigabytes. The NAND cycles are graded for 3000 writes and erases, and the write amplification factor is 1.28. If we do the math correctly, then that means that that SSD is graded to write up to 4.8 million gigabytes of data, or in other words, 4,687.5 terabytes. So our TBW is 4,687.5, or in other words, 4,687.5 terabytes can be written before that SSD is expected to fail. If you guys thought this video was helpful, make sure you guys leave us with a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And as always, make sure you subscribe for some more great content from a pacer.